approximately 65% of our population is basically under the years or under the age of 40, and a further 56% of the total population live below the poverty line, and therefore one of the key indicators that informed the choices was the fact that we needed to begin to address the question of intergenerational equity. The Deputy Prime Minister said the government is envisaging a 3.5% growth in gross domestic product this financial year. We are still expecting to be on course with our growth rate, our GDP growth rate for this year, to being, as we had stated, 3 to 3.5%. We are, believe we are still strongly on course. Most of the other numbers that have been given are actually higher than this. They are projecting, there are some who are projecting growth even as high as 4%. And all we can say as Treasury is if that were to happen, we would also be equally very happy. At the media meeting attended by cabinet ministers from the line ministries that are implementing the economic stimulus program, Uhuru said the government is putting in place a tracking system that will ensure that government spending is directed to intended purposes. The Deputy Prime Minister said already 3.5 billion shillings has been disbursed under the ESP and a further 12 billion shillings is said to be disbursed, noting that the program is behind schedule. Uhuru said that of the 12 billion shillings, 7 billion shillings is said to be spent on the construction of new classrooms in every constituency to help absorb more pupils. So far, the Treasury has dispersed approximately Kenya shillings 3.25 billion for the implementation of various activities uh, under ESP. Tenders currently awarded for the construction of public health centers, horticultural markets, and Juakali markets in approximately 180 constituencies throughout the country. Uhuru said the program could overlap into the new financial year if the projects will not have been fully implemented in the current year. Judith Akolo, Channel One Business.